Mr. Ed, uh, in 2007 when we met and when we started using Atomy, uh, you were uh, you were just uh, concentrating on uh, producing uh, pigs, no? Mm -hmm. uh, so now, <coughs> as we can see here, uh, you can uh, you are now process you are now cutting the the pig and selling this. What made you go into the next uh, level in the food chain? Well. <coughs> Uh, we acquired the farm in 1997, mainly our purpose is really to use it as an agricultural farm. But as we all know, uh, the cycle in producing uh, fruits takes normally around 7 to 10 years. So we decided a few years after to invest in the hog business. Now, in relation to your question, what made us decide to really search for uh, economies of scale, uh, reducing our operating expenses? At that time, the feed cost was uh, increasing substantially. Number two, the, co the, the price at the farm gate was not really improving. So, in December 2007, we chanced upon this article in a daily newspaper regarding Atubi. That was the time, so we tried using it. But at first, we were unsuccessful. We had to do a lot of uh, internal countermeasures to correct whatever <coughs> deficiencies that we have in the farm. Uh, middle part of 2008, that was the time when we were able to reap the benefits of uh, at to be. Afterwards, we decided to go uh, organic. We will slaughter our own uh, pig and then uh, sell this to neighbors, friends, and that was the start. And then afterwards, we decided to diversify into organic chicken and eggs. And right now, what we are doing is we are already in uh, value-added products. The kind of pork that we are producing has no cholesterol. How would I say that? Normally when you grill some pork meat, some oil will drip from the meat. And when this reaches the charcoal, it will turn into flame. But in our case, it, does, it never happens. Qualify that, uh, Mr. Red. Uh, what you're probably saying is the bad cholesterol. Because the yes, yes, the LDL, yes. There is no LDL. Uh, what drips is something like just, just water. When we are roasting pigs, uh, you won't believe it, but uh, we have shown to Engineer Bong and to Engineer Alvarez, you can drink. We call it the lechon juice. That's what we call the, the grilled uh, roasted, roasted pig. You can drink it. Normally, this is full of cholesterol and triglycerides. And you might even have a heart attack. But in our case, no. Also, the meat, the shrinkage of the meat. Uh, ordinarily, the shrinkage of the meat, while you are uh, roasting or grilling the, the, or frying the, mostly grilling the meat, uh, the wastage or the lossage or the shrinkage is around 40%. In our case, is just close to around 20% at most. The reason why is with Atubi, it makes the fiber really dense. As we have shown to you earlier, uh, the meat is really solid. Normally when we cut this into by the kilo, because we also sell them by the kilo, uh, what you see here after the slaughter is what you will see also after it has been refrigerated. What do you mean by that? Uh, we will normally cut this into different parts and then uh, weigh them by the kilo and then put them inside the freezer. Freeze them. Okay. Freeze them. Overnight, when you open the freezer, uh, the freshness of the meat, including the color of the blood. Ah, you mean the physical characteristic? The, the physical characteristic, body. yes. Okay. Is exactly as what you will as, was what as, you're seeing. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Uh, there is no rancid taste, and among other things, also uh, we can utilize the 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 skin. Here in the Philippines, it's what we call uh, chicharon. You won't even think of having a heart attack. So uh, what you're saying, Mr. Ed, is that. Uh, uh, through Atubi, uh, the, the quality of your 
the meat, the pork, has been greatly enhanced. Yes. So in terms of uh, thin fat, leaner meat. What about the taste, Mr. Ed? Oh, the taste. Uh, normally in the Philippines, when we talk about food, uh, they're always looking for uh, the taste of the native chicken, free range. Uh, this is exactly the case here also of the pork or the pig. Uh, all, of our, all of us are familiar with deers or venison. It's like that. The native wild pigs or the deer. It's soft but firm and tasty, very tasty. And you don't really have to utilize lots of salt. You won't also believe it, but uh, even if you try grilling it after slaughtering it, without putting any amount of salt or any seasoning. The taste is acceptable. To me, what is important is normally people don't eat pork, especially the, the elderly, because of the fear that they will have, uh, they will suffer uh, high blood from bad cholesterol. Uh, here, what we have noticed lately, the clientele that we are uh, serving are normally the elderly, the deprived people, whom the doctors would say don't eat pork. Okay, so Mr. Ed, uh, previously you were just selling the, the pigs uh, whole as is live to live. to these uh, to howlers, to yes. Hunters, no? And uh, in, now in your case, what's the percentage of uh, of your harvest that's being uh, that you are processing now and uh, being sold to the to the commercial traders? At present, uh, I would say 35 uh, percent. We're doing the slaughtering privately. Uh, the remaining 65% are still going to the traders. However, there will come a time that uh, we won't be selling to traders. Yes, but also, uh, what is uh, particularly very impressive here, very impressed, is because previously you were selling your, your pigs as ordinary pigs. Now, but we have, now that you have, uh, we have added value, more value to the pigs, and now you are uh, selling this as uh, organic and chemical free so of course the the price would be you you, you are commanding a, a high price for this yes 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 so in effect you are now making more money than before well uh comfortably than before <laughs> before we were struggling <laughs> nobody will say i'm making big money but uh, you know uh, you're making more than yes yeah you, you're you're correct but it was really a struggle and uh, we are very thankful that we were able to access a to b your group and uh, also the people who went to the farm as a result after seeing the quality of our meat and